morning. So uh, in the last video we discussed about uh, Buddhism and Jainism, right? And we talked about the life of Buddha and the life of uh, this Mahavira. Now uh, today uh, we are going to discuss about uh, class 12 history, chapter number 4, Tinker, Belief and Building. And topic number 7 that we are going to discuss about or learn about is Stupa. Right? Now, um, in the beginning of chapter, we have talked about the Sanchi Stupa. So I think uh, all of you uh, have that pretty much you know good knowledge about what this Stupa is all about, right? Now, see, uh, there's pictures of two Stupa. Now, what is Stupa actually? Why the Stupa were built and why Stupa is considered important in the Buddhist religion, right? Now, first, Stupa, as I told you, is a place where the uh, bodily remain or the object or used by Buddha were you know, buried inside the stupa. So that's why stupa is considered very important in the Buddhist tradition. Not only Buddhist tradition, even in the Jain, the building of stupa is considered also important, right? Now first, stupa is a mount-like structure, as I told you, right? It's a uh, under shape, like, you know, mount-like shape, which have some sort of religion significant, religion importance. As I told you, right, in Tibetan, this in, in, in Buddhism, right? Uh, this construction of you know the erecting of stupa is considered very you know significant because it it is something to do with the life of Buddha. Not only that now nowadays you know we used to construct different kind of stupa and, and inside the stupa we used to bury the relics of these uh, important lamas right Rinpoche's. So nowadays so that's why stupa is considered important. Now thing thing here you need to understand is if you think. The constructing of stupa, it's happened or origin with the origin of Buddhist religion, then you are wrong because the construction of stupa is there before the origin of Buddhist religion, right? See, the idea of erecting means constructing, right? Constructing or making stupa did not start with the Buddhist religion, right? It may have been pre Buddhist, means it, the construction of stupa, the practice of you know, construction of stupa was there before the birth of Buddha, right? Before the origin of with this religion, the construction of stupas were there, right? But later on, that kind of practice was associated with Buddhist religion because in the Buddhist religion, uh, we consider you know construction of stupas very important, right? So that's why it's you know associated with Buddhist religion itself. Now, if you think the construction of stupa happened because of the Buddhist religion, then you are wrong. Understood? Now, uh, in in the beginning of chapter, we also talked about like you know. Buddhist uh, religion, you know, uh, became popular in ancient India because of the debate and discussion with many other, you know, this Hinduism and Jainism, they lots of debate. Because of that, Buddhist idea, Buddhist philosophy become very popular, right? And, and even, you know, uh, we know about Buddhist, you know, this history, Buddha history or Buddhist religion, Buddhist philosophy from the Buddhist texts. Now, not only Buddhist texts, sometimes, you know, what happened, different kind of place, you know, important place, sacred place, sometimes they give us lots of information about, you know, the uh, Buddhist, right? See, in ancient, you know, in early time, people regard some places as sacred. Sacred here means holy, right? Important. Now, in, in, in early, right, some people consider some place, very con they consider very important, they consider very sacred, right? Whereas, why? A place like, you know, this uh, place with unique rock, right? And special trees. Now, see, the place where the unique rock structures, right, and play a special trees, right, and that, that kind of place is considered very important. See, in the Hinduism, right, uh, Shivling, a rock structure, uh, sh Shivling, right, we consider important. Not only the Tulsi tree, right, in Tibetan, we, the, in Buddhism, we consider Bodhi tree is important, right. Now, place with unique rock uh, and special trees, and when a small shrine means a temple, right? A small shrine temples where the god used to live, the abode of God, attached to them. When, when, when that kind of place, along with that kind of place, when the small shrine was attached to that kind of place, then they were called chetias. Chetias, a small shrine attached to them is called chetias, right? Now, strictly speaking, a chetia, you can call it stupa, right? But if you want to know the derivation of the word chetia, right? What chitta came from the uh, chitta, right? Chitta, uh, funeral pyre, right? Of a mount, funeral mount, right? and it is something to do with this, you know, this uh, bodhi uh, relics of the important, you know, leaders, important lamas, right? So that's why uh, chitta you can count it as a uh, 
a stupa in this chapter. Understood? Now, in the Buddhist texts, right? Different kind of Buddhist texts you know, mention about some of the important, you know, chaityas uh, this uh, related with associated with the life of Buddha, right? Buddhist literature mentioned about several chaityas. Uh, chaityas means you can, uh, you know, uh, strictly speaking, you can call it stupa or a sacred place, right? Associated with the life of Buddha, something to do with the. Uh, this uh, life of Buddha, as I, to, as I told you in the uh, previous video, right? the, this uh, life of Buddha, the 12 principal deed of Buddha. Right? Uh, out of this 12 principal deed of Buddha, the four places which is considered very important according to the Buddhist tradition, these four important places or important sacred holy places are first, you know, Lumbini is a place uh, present in Nepal, right, where the Lord Buddha born, right. And the second place considered important, you know, according to the Buddhist tradition, is Bodh Gaya, where, sorry, see, uh, this stupa in the Lumbuni, right, present day Nepal. Right? That second is a Bodh Gaya in the present day Bihar, right, where the Shakara Chakra used to happen, right, where the Lord Buddha got enlightenment at the age of uh, 35, you know about it, right, this Mahabali Nirvana, right. Then, Sarna, third Sarna, Sarna, uh, we call it Varanasi in the UP, right? Where the Lord Buddha taught for the first time, the first teaching of Lord Buddha, where the, this uh, four noble truth, the four noble, you know, this truth, Lord Buddha, you know, taught this four noble truth, the first teaching of Lord Buddha happened in, happened over here, right? Exactly on that place, right? In, over the, nowadays, the thermic stupas were there, the construction of thermic stupas were done by the Ashoka. Right? Then, last, we have this Kushinagar. Kushinagar is a place where you know Buddha uh, passed away, or layman language we say passed away, right? Uh, uh, in, in, the, in the respectfully way we call it Buddha attained Mahapari Nirvana, right? Uh, second Nirvana, or you know, free from cycle of birth and death, right? Now that is all about you know the important place. Now as as a Buddhist, you know, I recommend you to you know. Uh, in your lifetime, you know, once once you, you it's really very important for you to visit these four places. You know, just like you know, this in the Muslim tradition, that all the Muslim people, you know, they they you know they, they need to visit you know, the Mecca and this uh, uh, Arab right. You know, once in their they, they do the pilgrimage once in their life. So that is really very important. Understood? So now within this topic stupa, we have three subtopic. Today we are going to discuss about. Now the first, why were stupa built? Why stupa were built? Reason behind for the building of stupa, constructions of stupa. So we are going to learn in that subtopic. And second, how were stupas built? Right? How stupas were built? Right? This, uh, we are going to discuss about that in the subtopic. Third, the structures of the stupa. In this, we are going to discuss about the architecture of a stupa, right? structures of stupa, different structures of stupa. Understood? Now the first, 7.1. Why were stupa built? As uh, we all know about it, right? Stupa were built because to pay respect to the, you know, uh, bodily remains of the Buddha and the object used by him. Uh, they used to bury inside the you know, stupa. So that's why stupa were built, right? We all know about it. The relics of Buddha. Relics means you know about it. This uh, ring sick, right? Bodily remains of Buddha, such as his bodily remains, or object used by him, were buried there uh, under the stupa, right? And uh, within the stupa, the bodily remains, the relics, and the object used by Buddha, object used by Buddha, or, you know, buried inside that stupa. So that's why, because of that reason, stupa was built for that purpose to pay respect to the Lord Buddha, right? So that's the reason why stupa was built. And you, you all know about it, right? Stupa, this, uh, this for the mount known as stupa. Stupa, the shape of the stupa is just like, you know, mount, the semicircular shape, right? like under. And building of stupa, or uh, construction of stupa may have been pre-Buddhist, as I told you before, right? The building of stupa, the construction of stupa is you know, not this, uh, uh, innovation or not, discur not this uh, invented with by the Buddhist religion, right? it was there pre-Buddhist, right? So that's why later on it associated with the Buddhist religion because 
In Buddha, in Buddhist, we can see, in Buddhist religion, we can see the building of stupa is so important. That's why uh, that kind of practice was there, was associated with uh, Buddhist religion. Understood? Now, uh, in the, in the, this, you know, one of the Buddhist texts called Ashok Vadan. Ashok Vadan is a text which deals with the life of Ashoka. Inside that Ashok Vadan text, it mentions about the life of uh, this Ashoka and what Ashoka did. That, uh, how he propagated, how he you know, explained the Buddhist religion during that time, during the, uh, the second century, third, second century BC. Right? Now, Ashoka Vardhana, in this text, it mentions about Ashoka distribute Buddha relics to every important town and city and order the construction of stupa over them. So, so uh, in, the, in the very text, Ashoka Vardhana, right? uh, Ashoka distribute Buddhist, uh, Buddha relics the village to every important town and city and order the constructions of stupa over them. That's why we have lots of important stupa all over the India. Why? Because that is the all you know this contribution made by the King Ashoka toward the uh, expand or propagate the propagation of the Buddhist religion. Understood? See Ashoka Vadna, where he do this uh, uh, we uh, distribute the, redistribute I, I would say redistribute the Buddha's relics. So to, to, so, uh, and construct a different kind of you know, this stupa all over the India. Now, important, you know, this uh, some important stu uh, this stupa, you know, uh, the, the important stupa built during this second third century. Are first we have this uh, Sanchi stupa we have discussed about in Madhya Pradesh. Then uh, second Sarna, you can you may call it you no know, Dharmic stupa. Sarna stupa, we also call it Sarna stupa in Varanasi UP, right? And then Bharut stupa in Madhya Pradesh. If you look over in the map, it just looks like that. Here, see? Sanchi stupa in the middle of this uh, Madhya Pradesh. And then Sarna, right? In the UP, right? And uh, Bharut, near the, near the Sarna, right? There is a Bharut stupa. It, in Bharut stupa, it's you know, inside the Madhya Pratish, understood? So these are the three you know, important. Not only that, there are lots of stupas were there in uh, Amravati stupas were there, you know, different kind of stupa built by Ashoka King Ashoka during that time, understood? So that is all about the uh, why stupas were built and the reason behind stupa built, as I told you, right, to pay respect to the relics of Buddha, understood? And now, second uh, topic that we are going to discuss about 7.2 is how were stupa built? Uh, how was stupa built? The reason behind how was stupa built? The reason behind for the building of stupa, how stupa built is, is all because of the donation, right? Or patronage made by different kinds of people. Because of that, uh, construction of stupa happened. Right? If there was a no any donation provided by the different groups of people, then the construction of stupas were very difficult, right? Uh, Nowadays, that kind of practice with that, but uh, different people, you know, provide donations. So that's why uh, different uh, the schools, different tablets, different stupa were constructed, and, 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 and on the wall of the these different kind of you know schools, stupa, temple. You will see, you, you have seen the name of the donator, those who had made donation, their names and address were there, right? So like that, building of stupa happened all because of the donation provided by different people. Now, how do we know about that? That because inscriptions were there. Inscriptions were there, you know. Inscriptions were there on the readings and pillars of the stupa. You no, know? inscriptions on the readings and pillars of the stupa recorded the donation made for building and decorating them. So, how do we know about it? Because we know about it because of the, on the reading and on the reading and you know pillars of the stupa, they they mention about you know they they, they mention about the different donation made by the different people. Now, who are the person who, who provide different kind of the donation? The different groups of people, they provide donation for the you know, constructions of stupa. The people's like, you know, king, right? different group king, like the Satwana king, King Ashoka, they were different kind of king. They, they used to do lots of patronage right, for building of stupa. Right? That's why stupa was built. Right? Not only the guild, uh, we have already discussed in chapter number two. Guilds means a group of people who act both as the artisans and uh, these uh, this, um, the traders, right? So they also, you know, provide lots of donation. In, in, in one of the Sanchi, this out of these four cardinal gates, right, four gates, 
East, West, North, South. There was a four gate in Sanji Stupa. One gate, you know, which was you know, financed by the uh, this guild of ivory workers. So that's what the record was there on the railing of the stupa. Understood. Not only that, thousands of you know male and women, thousands of male and female. Thousands of you know this uh, men and women they provided you know lots of donation uh, to construct the stupa and their their names were also mentioned their names were also mentioned on the pillars and reading not only that sometimes what happened the occupation their, what their occupation was, was also mentioned on the reading and pillar of the stupa understood and not only that lots of bhikshunis bhikshus and bhikshunis you know bhikshus and bhikshunis they also provide lots of donation. Bhikshus and bhikshunis means monks and nuns. Monks and nuns, they also made lots of donation for building the stupa. So because of that, because of the donation provided by the different groups of people, you know, that's why uh, it is, you know, uh, stupa was built. So even the exam, the question about how the stupa was built, so you have to, you know, uh, you have to know this kind of part because of the donation, different kind of donation provided by the different groups of people. Because of that, uh, building of stupa was happened. Understood? The last, the 7.3 that we are going to discuss about is the structure of the stupa. Now in this, we are going to discuss about the different architectures of stupas, right? How stupas were made, the different structures of stupa. But first, see now, thing here you need to understand is that is that kind of you know these kind of questions is extremely important because that kind of, these kind of questions is repeatedly asked in the exam the structures of stupa so uh, you, you you must need to pay the close attention understood now the five structure that, that you need to know now first this semicircular mount we call it under the the under the egg like shape you know under and second above the under there is you no know, uh, this rectangle, you know, or this balcony type, like you know, Harmika, which is considered as a abode of God or the place where God used to div, uh, dwell, that sit, live, sit over here. Then this arising harmi, arising is from the Harmika, the arising musk or pole, we call it Yazdi. It's a pole just like you know, musk or pole, arising pole called Yazdi. And around the, this Yazdi, the Chhatri, right? So, and not only that, then four gate, four cardinal gate, you know, here it's uh, Toran, right? Toran means gate, uh, Sanji Stupa has a four different gate, you know, and a four cardinal direction, east, west, north, south, right? So uh, these are the, uh, the, these are the four, five these, uh, uh, structures that you need to know, understood? Now the first, in Sanskrit, right, in Sanskrit, Stupa in Sanskrit, we call it hip, right? And, and in Pali, we call it Tupa. Right now, stupa. Now, first, the semicircle, you know, mount like shape. Semicircle, mount like shape, we call it anda. Right? The semicircle shape. And the above the anda, the balcony, like, balcony like structure called harbika, which is considered as an abode of God. Abode of God means play, uh, where God used to live, where God used to dwell. Understood? Now, above the anda, they have a balcony-like structure which is called Harmika and it is considered as an abode of God where God used to live or dwell. Understood? First, uh, this semicircular shape under, first structure, and then second, above the, uh, this uh, semicircular shape under, is a Harmika, right? Considered as an abode of God, balcony-like structures. Understood? Now, arising, arising from that, you know, uh, this uh, the uh, Harmika, there was, you know, the, the mask means Paul, called the Yasti, right? Yasti over here. Yasti. The arising from this the Harmika, there was a you know, mask called uh, Yasti, right? And of Yasti was, you know, often surrounded by a Chhatri or umbrella. So that is, you know, structures of stupa. Now, not only that, you know, see, you, you also found the railing, right? Railing over here, where the people you know used to do this you know circumambulation right in a, in a, a clockwise you know so what happened around the mount around this mount 
was a railing. You can see railing over here, right? Railing. What happened? Railing. Separate. The sacred space. Sacred means very holy, important is because over here the relics of Buddha were there, right? So that's why that you know kind of you know, structures is very you know this holy or sacred. So what happened? What the work of the railing is inside the railing where people used to you know circumambulation, right? In a, in a in a in a clockwise. But what the work of the railing is to separate the sacred space from the materialistic world, you know, materialistic world. So that is the work of railing. Understood? Then, and outside, there were four different kind of, you know, uh, impressive gate, you know, constructed in a four cardinal direction. See, gateways were beautifully curved, means, you know, beautifully made the uh, inscriptions, uh, and installed at four direction, in the east, east, uh, eastern gate, western gate, northern gate, behind the river, southern gate, right? Now, in the four direction, the uh, uh, four cardinal direction, four gates were installed. And what happened the, from the eastern gate? Uh, we discussed in this uh, beginning of the chapter, right? When the European want to, you know, uh, take this eastern gate, and they want to demonstrate, or they want to uh, demonstrate that in their own uh, museum in, the, in France and Britain, right? But the uh, but the background of their particular this uh, place, they you know, Baba, they you know, uh, asked them to carry the plaster copy and original remain in the place where it belonged, right? The eastern gate. Eastern gate from where the visitor used to enter, right? Visitor used to enter from the eastern gate. Then they used to do the circumambulation of the stupa. Understood? So that is you know very important question, extremely important question. Most of the time you know ask in the board exam. So you must need to learn it properly. Understood? So the four or five uh, important structure. First, anda. Second, harmika, balcony like structure. Then yazdi pole like structure right, uh, arising above the harmika. Then uh, all the yazdi and uh, chhatri, right? And then railing, separate from the sacred place and materialistic world. Then we have four different gate in a cardinal direction, four different, you know, gate. Understood? So that is all about the structure of stupa. Understood? So that is all about uh, today. In next video we are going to learn in the next, uh, next uh, topic we are going to learn in the next video. Thank you.